Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're well. Um, if you watched my last tutorial, it was about ambient occlusion and a way that you could add ambient occlusion into your materials. I'll let you check that out, but it was a way to kind of customize what areas of your model have AO. Well, I got a really great comment from a guy named Evan Alexander. I'll put his link below. So he mentioned that we could do the opposite. Instead of taking one of your models and adding ambient occlusion to it through the materials, what we could do is go to your settings and add ambient occlusion to your entire scene globally, and then click on the model that you don't want AO on, and right click on it, go to Cinema 4D Tags, and then Compositing. And if you look at uh, your options, we have this little Scene by AO check mark, which I didn't even realize was there. So if you uncheck that, then this model will not be recognized by ambient occlusion by the global AO. So that's a great way to have a hero object have ambient occlusion. And if you have some objects in the background or out of focus that don't need it, you can just uh, use this compositing tag and those objects will render a little bit quicker. So you can see that the one on the left has AO and the one on the right does not. So this is actually um, a much easier way to have control over your ambient occlusion and what models in your scene have it. So really great tip by Evan Alexander. Um, if you're interested in these models, um, here's a little tease for you. We're uh, relaunching our tech pack. We added a ton of new models and that's going to be launching next week. So keep your eyes open for that. In the meantime, thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time.